Today I'm super excited, chemical peels. And the reason is because, as you can see in the photo, my eyes when I was 51 and what they look like now. Well, actually what they look like when I was 56, because now I'm 57. So I was basically gifted with not great skin. And as women, we don't want to look how old we look, especially when we're over 40. You know, when I was about 45, I would say, oh yeah, I'm 45. And I would expect people to say, oh, you don't look 45. Well, they never said that. <laughs> In fact, if they guessed my age, sometimes they would guess a year older. So anyway, that began my journey in skincare. And I have found that my two favorite things in the entire universe are chemical peels and microneedling. So I would say 70% of my success with my eyes was chemical peels, 10% uh, with skincare retinols, and 20% with microneedling and the microneedling has been most beneficial I would say under my eyes because producing collagen under our eyes that's where our eye socket starts sinking in and the skin starts going and it looks pretty nasty so the microneedling just amazingly for under the eyes but the crepiness is really uh, from the chemical peels so my skin has never looked better. And um, now I'm 57 and finally people are saying, oh, you don't look 57 and I'm just so happy you have no idea. <laughs> they might be lying to me, but I don't care. It's really nice to hear because I never heard that before, except when I was, you know, 12, they'd say, oh, you look 15. But you know, that was cool back then, right? You wanted to look older, well, now I don't. So. Without further ado, let's get into the chemical peel. <laughs> and why are you getting your eyeballs peeled? Because I want them to look this way forever. So she just had an eye peel how long ago? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And how long did you peel? I peeled only for three days. I resisted pick. the urge to pick though, and I'm <laughs> proud of myself. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna protect your eyebrow tattoos. So I am just taking a thick, viscous product. So you can use Aquaphor, Vaseline. I've got my fans ready. Her face is already washed. Okay, so to start, I'm going to pre-chemical solution you. I hate this stuff. You are rough. I'm not that rough. Yeah, you are. I am? Mm-hmm. Oh. You want it to work, right? I do. Wow, that mm -hmm. made your skin look so nice on your nose. Thank you. I'm done. And she's done, folks. So now we're going into the smoothing toner. Yes. We're going to be doing three chemical peels on three different girls, myself, and two girls who are about to turn 30. Oh, it's starting to burn. Ooh, takes a minute, but then it just starts kicking in. You'll probably use it all on me because I'm really tough. Okay. So I think we've chosen Jesner Peel. That's burning. Yeah, it's burning. Oh, I forgot how much I hate Jesner. Oh, dang it. Is this the same one you just used on It me? is. Oh, jeez. I need two fans. It's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles because it is helping with that cell turnover rate. It's, it's keeping it going. And when the cell turnover starts slowing down, that's when you start seeing the fine lines, the wrinkles. And that, for me, is the biggest benefit because I will be 30 in two months. And I can already see the fine lines underneath my eyes, on my forehead, and I don't want to have to do Botox. So this is a great alternative. Okay, so we're starting, we're gonna start at the eyes. Very important. Okay, tip for you to close your eyes. <laughs> okay. So I always start way below the eye just until I know how much solution is on. And then when the solution is starting to 
get thinner, then I move right up under the eye where all those little wrinkles go. I just really get that rubbed in. Is it starting to burn a little? No. Okay. It's just a little tiny warm. Just a little warm. And then I go above the eye crease. But if we can tighten this right here, that's good. Then I take the dry side and I just buff, almost like you're doing eyeshadow. So I keep this side dry and this side wet. It's definitely warm. Okay, we're gonna try to get three layers. Jeez. Oh, oh, it's going up. Is it going up? You've got two fans, so you're okay. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna just work on this while that sets. We're gonna work on the forehead. Now remember, we are licensed estheticians. I would not do this at home. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> My eyes are a 10. Are they a 10? My eyeballs are a 10. Are they? Now, a lot of people like to use pads. I'm not a real fan of the pads. Although I'm usually a real fan of these, but of course when I'm doing a video, it's gonna start unraveling. I don't wanna do another layer. I'm, I'm schwitzing. I don't think I can do another layer, Ma. How about right here on this one little crow foot? Did you even, uh-uh, that's where it hurts the most. Well, that's where you have a lot of wrinkles. I know. You can't even take one more layer. I just don't want to. I know you don't want to, but do you want the benefits? Do you not care about the benefits? Nope. You're being a super big baby. <laughs> Wait till I do mine. <laughs> Your forehead's fine? The forehead is fine. It's my eyeballs. I know. The eyeballs are the most sensitive. Okay, so tell me if you think that you can I take... I can do the eyes now. You can? Yes. Nice. I just, I just needed a second. <sighs> okay. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, you've had two layers. The skin is definitely blanching there, those little white spots. Yep. Her skin is saying, that's enough. But I'm not. <laughs> no, I am. I'm done. I'm good. Are you done? Ow! Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> oh, we haven't even done my eyes. Oh, that's why I do the eyes first, so people can't run away. Oh! Can I go to your eyes? Oh, God. Okay, the burning is subsiding, guys. It's just the initial terror. And the nice thing is that chemical peels will really get rid of those crow's feet faster and better than just about anything. That photo is pretty much mostly from chemical peels and a little bit of needling. Does that feel okay? Mm-hmm. Did you feel safe? Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> one of my fans is dying. Okay. Pass one. Yeah, I'm probably, I was burning at a 9 from a 1 to 10 when you mm -hmm. first put it on. Now I'm probably a, maybe a f f 3 or a 4. Okay, well let's go right back in. <laughs> I can take more, because I'm tough. My skin before I started chemical peeling was so bad. I had so many sun damaged sun damage spots, my complexion was uneven. One of my friends told me that it looked like I had smoker's skin and I wasn't smoking, so that's pretty sad. But she, oh, this one died. It done, totally died. By the way, you guys, these are the best fans in the world. They're by Topwell and you can get them on Amazon. They're $19. Anyway, they're rechargeable. You just plug them into the little thing overnight boom they're charged i think it hurts more when somebody else does it <laughs> maybe not no i think i usually scream all by myself but nobody hears me i usually do a series of chemical peel micro needling chemical peel micro needling and i always end with a chemical peel to just the chemical peels bring up all the new skin and tear off all the old skin thins the skin out 
it just forces all that wonderful new skin to come up. The micro needling creates injuries to your skin, which in turn creates collagen down in your dermis. And what that does is it gives your skin more of a springy appearance. Well, it really does because you start growing collagen again, producing it. So the skin just gets plumper. And I don't mean plumper like fat. I mean plumper like if you were to put injections in your face. That's what needling does. Mm -hmm. So the needling works on getting rid of wrinkles on the dermal level. And the chemical peels just really resurface the skin, forces your skin to create new beautiful skin, but it just takes off all this old nasty skin that we want to get rid of when we get old. So we'll be showing updates on our peeling skin. I forgot it's garden day. Not a good idea. <laughs> I always tell my clients, do not go in the sun after a chemical peel. And what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be in the sun for four hours right now. So hat, SPF, and sunglasses. I should be pretty protected. This is not good because I have to be out here and there's a lot of water out here so it reflects and I have people coming to help me so I I can't get out of it okay look how disgusting oh my god it's so gross okay it's been three days since we did the chemical peel I just washed my face and I just let it dry so that you could see what's going on here. So this eye, kind of everything just sort of washed off this morning. So now it's really starting to peel. And of course, you can't peel it off. I'm not saying for you to stick scissors by your eyes, but this is what I'm doing. And so I just trim all the extra skin that's hanging until it's ready to come off. If this was ready to come off, it would be coming off, and it's not. I spend a little more time trimming, but I just kind of <laughs> trim the skin off. So that's it. I hope I wasn't too close to you. That was really... A lot of spots came out though. That's the crazy part. I look like I have never put sunscreen on. Is what my skin looks like. But yeah, I haven't really started peeling. I hope I peel soon because this is, this is annoying. Day six, post chemical peel. And I, hi. So that's the chemical peel, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you think, hmm, I think I wanna go get a chemical peel. Just be real careful who you use, and just make sure that they are you know, a licensed esthetician and they have a lot of experience in chemical peels. You know, chemical peels aren't for everyone, and uh, just make sure you talk to your skincare professional or your dermatologist, whoever, and just make sure that what we're showing you here is really right for you. Have a great time. Don't forget to subscribe. Coco and I are gonna be doing a lot more together, which is gonna be really fun. I'm very excited about that because you all seem to really love when we're together. Also, I just really wanted to thank all of my new friends out there. There's a few girls that have been so amazing and you guys have been so supportive and I've really enjoyed talking to you and meeting you. You know who you are. Have a great day, blessings, and I'll see you on the next one. We just adore you guys, thank you.